Hi guys, it's Matt again and in this video I want to show you how you can build your Unity project for the Google Play Store and Android in general. I guess all the Android app stores I guess. Um, so the first thing you need to do is set up the external tools that Unity is going to pull into and call to to build your APK file. To find those you want to go Unity, Preferences, uh, this will be similar on Windows, External Tools and Android down here. The first one you need to think about is the SDK, the Android Developer Kit. If you had uh, Android Studio installed before installing Unity, this should come up automatically. Otherwise, make sure you have Android Studio installed. You can download it from developers.android.com. And then click, once that's all installed, um, it will download everything. Click Browse. And it, again, it should come up automatically, but if it doesn't, on a Mac, you want to go user, your user, library, Android, SDK, and just select SDK. Uh, on Windows, it should be reasonably similar, and you should be able to look that up. I might, I'll have a look at, for it, and I'll include the link down in the description. The next developer tool you want is the JDK, the Java Developer Kit. Again, this should come up automatically. When you click this button, just check if it does come up because it should come up automatically. If it doesn't, library, Java, Java virtual machines, JDK, whatever version, contents, home. If you don't have uh, JDK installed, I'll include a link down in the description for installing the JDK, which I believe actually comes with Android Developer Kit. Android Developer Kit installs that. And the last thing that's here is the native developer kit for Android which, like it says here in the description, you don't need to worry about. Now, with all that set up, we're ready to start actually building our game. Again, just like iOS, we want to go down to the build settings. We want to select Android, and we're going to press switch platform. This will switch Unity over to Android development. It will freeze for a second. Once it's done, the little Unity logo will move over. If that's selected, we want to go build settings. And over in the expector, the build settings for Android will come up. I already explained what all this up at the top is in my iOS video, but I might just explain it again. If you want to just skip over this, you can just skip over it, and when you see me start moving this stuff, you'll know I'm talking about the Android-specific stuff. So first up, up here, we have the company name. In Android, this is important because it's displayed by the OS. Uh, so you want to just set this to your name or the company name. The product name is, of course, the name of your game or your app. Default icon is the asset file that is being used by your game as its logo. So you want to drag that down here into the project assets and select it. Oh, you don't need to worry about cursors because we're talking about touchscreens and you don't need to worry about cursor hotspots because again, we're talking about touchscreens. Now let's move down to the specific settings for Android. First thing is resolution and presentation. So this includes the default uh, orientation for your app and the various um, orientations that your app supports and which ones you want to exclude. So if you want to exclude them, just untick these. Uh, you've got some other settings, more advanced settings that you shouldn't really need to worry about initially. Next up, we have the icon. So if you want to override the default icon from up here, you can um, override it here. Probably not worth doing, just keep the same icon for all the platforms. Splash image is the image that the OS displays while it's getting your app ready to open and load. Um, as you can see, these grayed out. I believe it's grayed out in the personal versions of Unity. So if you pay for it, you can untick the Unity splash screen and you can put your own splash image in. Uh, next up, we have the other settings. These are things you don't really need to worry about. So let's go through them. Uh, you have some of how it renders. The bundle identifier is something you do need to worry about. This is, of course, in the reverse domain style. So product na uh, your domain name and then your product name. You want to give your build version, so 1, 1.1, 1.2, 1 .1, and your build, your bundle version code. So every bundle that you submit to Google Play has to have a unique version code, unlike iOS, where you can have the same version uh, same number used across many builds every time you send a new build up to google play you're going to have to increment this number or change this number somehow next up we have our minimum uh, api level 
Unity will change this automatically based on the features of Unity that you're using and if it requires a higher level. Also, you might get some mismatches if you're using plugins that require a higher level. So if it ever comes up with any errors relating to API versions, just change this one to the version you need. Configuration are some more advanced settings that you don't really need to worry about. The final thing we need to talk about is the publish settings. So every app that you build needs to be identified by a unique key store token. If you're building your app for the first time, you're going to want to create your key store. Select browse key store and the, probably the best place to put it is here in your project file. User key store or user is fine, just you're fine using the default name here. Okay, so click save. We want to give it a password. Down here for the key, we want to create a new key. The alias is the name of the application that you're creating, so demo. Uh, give it a password. So this is a, um, fill these in and create your key. It'll take a couple of seconds. But once you've done it, you can click down here, select your key, and enter that password you just used. Okay, so everything in the settings is set up and ready to go. The final thing we need to do is build and create our APK file. To do that, we can go build and run, but it will try and run it and it breaks things and it's just a horrible experience. Because I'm a control fit, we're gonna go build settings, and we are just going to build our APK file. Select where you want to do it. You probably don't want to do it in your project folder. We're going to call this demo and just save it there. Unity builds the entire APK from scratch, so you don't need to go into an external tools like OS, uh, like Xcode for iOS. You get an APK and you're ready to just put that straight into Google Play. And with all that done, Unity will open up Finder to our demo APK file, which we're ready to then go over into the Google Play console, create our app, and we're ready to just upload that straight into Google Play. So, so hope you found that useful. If you're looking to build an iOS app and submit your game to the iOS app store, check out my other video on that. I might do a couple of other videos on some of the other um, some of the other platforms that you can target with Unity and I might do some more Unity videos over the coming weeks. So keep an eye out, please subscribe, hope you enjoyed it, hope you found it useful and uh, hopefully I will see you again soon.